Hey guys, Tanya Rubin with our Wine Country Realtor and today I am coming to you with a report of kind of some scary happenings that have happened um, in the last 48 hours out here in Wine Country, in Temecula Wine Country. I have spoken with uh, retired law enforcement with connections on the force and kind of gotten the 411 on exactly what went on and wanted to update um, you and the community. I have a lot of friends who are asking what happened and thought it would be easier to come out here and do this video than spend the uh, rest of the evening on the phone talking to people. So we did have a an home invasion, an armed home invasion, and the um, perpetrators broke into a home at 145 on Wednesday a.m. and uh, the homeowner was present. The homeowner is okay. Um, but there were, um, he heard the, the noise and immediately got out of bed, grabbed his firearm, he's a retired Marine, and he um, said hey, and the suspects turned and aimed, um, shot at him immediately, fired off a shot. He returned in fire and um, a number of shots were fired back and forth. He was not hurt, he was not injured, so that was very good news. The, um, one of the perpetrators grabbed the perpetrator who was shot and drag dragged him out of the house and they took off and apparently ended up at the hospital, the local hospital. They did have identification that fell out of the vehicle at the scene of the crime, at the home, so the officers were able to identify the, the people who did this and uh, one of the perpetrators is in custody. Apparently they were in a stolen vehicle and they went um, to the hospital and um, were able to apprehend the injured, um, the injured perpetrator, but they have not yet, um, to last report, not yet apprehended the um, the other two suspects. I think there was a girlfriend in a, in the car and another perpetrator who pulled the people out of the or pulled the injured perpetrator out of the house. So. That is what happened. It did really happen. There were some people on the boards who were wondering if this was an actual account. I've spoken to retired law enforcement and uh, they were actually, after the, the, the homeowner emptied out the rounds in his gun, he locked himself in the closet. The perpetrators were still trying to make their way out of the vehicle, but the homeowner was out of ammunition. So he took himself and locked himself in the room and immediately phoned my contact. Um, so he was on the phone. This is very reliable information that is uh, is sourced, and um, and that is the account of exactly what went down here in Wine Country. And I do have, um, you know, it's made made a lot of residents a little bit nervous and uneasy. I am also going to add, and this is in no way to um, to. Un, 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 underestimate or make the you know the person that this happened to was 100% a victim and this should never have happened. However, there were numerous conversations about how often this home was not lit and bright, and so uh, my contact's feeling was that this is something that was largely targeted because the home was thought to be vacant. And um, you know there are vacation homes out here in wine country, and the moral of the story is if you have a property, to he's like you are absolutely 100% safe if you're you know keep your property lit, keep some lights on on um, on motion sensors outside, and um, and take some of those precautions, and you are not going to be targeted by this. He also wanted to add that in the years that since he's been retired and his over 20 years on the force in the Temecula community that he can count on one hand the number of armed incidents like this in this community. It is highly unusual for it to happen and uh, he said there is no reason to be alarmed or to feel in danger um, that to take some precautions like making sure your property is lit and um, Sure you set timers so that lights are coming on and off if you are away or have a house sitter at your home and, and things should be fine. This is an incredibly safe community. It's highly unusual and uh, there's no reason to um, be alarmed or concerned. 
so that's my report live here from Glen Oaks, um, very near the site of where this horrendous night took place just the other night. I wanted to give this full account and get everyone up to speed all at once so that um, we could know exactly what happened because right now there's a lot of did it happen, did it not happen, I haven't seen it in the news, there's not an official police report, so you heard it here from the source, um, or two steps away from the source at least. So thank you so much for watching and uh, not great news, but just wanted to reassure everyone that this felt like uh, from law enforcement's account a very you know targeted because this house is not to be not occupied and uh, we can sleep peacefully that it remains a, a very very calm community and kind of dispel any rumors that that um, may be flying out there as a result of this post over on Facebook so thanks so much for watching guys and be back again with better news on Monday with Temecula uncorked and um, talking about more fun things and the holidays and all of those other things. So have a great day.